Hey everybody, Jason here. Uh, before we start this video of pickups, uh, I will be honest and say this is going to be my third attempt at uh, making this video. I forgot to include things both times. So, um, with the format here, I basically have everything right here. So rather than try to get it out in chronological order, I'll just make sure I have everything here and can say how uh, I picked this up. Um, so, not this past weekend that, that just passed us here, but the weekend before that, the July 4th weekend, my girlfriend and I had decided to just kind of drive and uh, hit up yard sales, uh, thrift stores, antique places, yard sales, whatever, just we kind of did that all weekend, hit the flea market, and I think we, we made out pretty well. Uh, so, I'm going to show you guys kind of what I picked up, and uh, I guess I'll let you guys be, be the judge. So the first item up here is this sweet Batman glass like carnival prize. You can see it was 50 cents at the thrift store. She spotted that. Absolutely gonna go for it. Cheap frame and all. Absolutely love it. Perfect start to uh, the weekend. So we did hit up uh, some yard sales as well. This one I, I'd like to get out of the way first because this was just basically released and we found it at a yard sale but one of the Kenner re-releases of the Ghostbusters Peter Venkman and I actually have the tag right here that was on it five dollars I already have this set of the Ghostbusters I have Slimer I just need Stay Puff for five bucks sale or trade um, couple other things there uh, we had stopped at uh, that same yard sale didn't get a whole bunch got this little bandit type guy don't know what he's from and then we stopped at uh, the red barn didn't find too much of note there but I did find this cool little dude opens up to reveal an eyeball in the mouth, one of these like attack tracks or something like that. Um, this this is a really cool item. We found this uh, out in Worcester, New York, uh, one of the antique places, just in a glass case, totally out of place with everyday thing they had there, and we just had to get it. So, uh, got this sweet PV Herman watch. It's only missing the pin to keep this together, but everything looks good, even this secret little compartment. Awesome, awesome piece. Also had uh, some other video games and toys and stuff, but we'll get this stuff out of the way. Just shows you what I will spend money on, but this can of ground nutmeg from ShopRite. I think it's best used by date is September of 86, but that's how I remember ShopRite. It's got the nutmeg in there. I'm obviously not going to use it. I just like it. Also found some uh, video games at some of these antique places here. Uh, got this here. wasn't an incredible deal, but Hot Shots Golf, the first one for PS1. Paid 6 bucks for it. Um, I think it maybe goes for like 12 but now I have all four you know, across PS1 and PS2. Uh, the other game that we had got uh, at a thrift store, I don't even have an Xbox. I just saw it. I got it. It was the only video game they had, but... Blitz the League for original Xbox. Paid two bucks for that. Um, did have some freebies along the way. Uh, did see a big carport with a sign that said free with a bunch of stuff. Wasn't too much of interest, but I did grab these. Uh, Disney Future World like tin plate trays or whatever. I don't know, it's Disney. I thought they looked cool and they were free. Also had half reduced roll of duct, brand, duct tape brand duct tape. Can never have too much duct tape. Another odd um, pick up here is this Binghamton Whalers hockey puck. AHL paid two bucks. I see, I'm a Rangers fan, so I do like hockey. I've always just loved the W. You know, the Hartford Whalers moved to Carolina, but. A little bit of love of hockey there. This 
honestly, I don't. I think it might have been a yard sale for like 25 cents, something like that. Have been. It's just Grimace as a pumpkin. I happen to have the McNugget one here too that I got a couple years ago. Uh, now we're getting into flea market finds, but we're not going to get to that just yet because this is a cool thing here, and this is this set. I have no idea what the set is, but it's this cool space station. I mean, it came with figures, aliens, there's two little space guys in here, green aliens. These little rover vehicles. This, this is what I was originally interested in. I didn't want to get the whole box. This was the coolest thing. This flying saucer, man, that's just awesome. But hey, it, it includes a whole bunch of other stuff. The whole box was ten dollars. I thought it was interesting looking enough to warrant the purchase. Funny thing is, we actually stopped at a uh, Salvation Army family store, and they had that same base, missing a guy, missing everything else that you see in there, just the one guy on top. They wanted 20 bucks for it. And then in their, you know, miscellaneous toy section, I found an alien for that set there for 99 cents, and you're damn right, I did go ahead and get that for 99 cents. So that's pretty cool find. I don't know hardly anything about this, so I'll have to do some research on it. I just think it looks really awesome. Um, I guess we can go to the video game store before we get to the uh, flea market. But we did stop at a game store I'd never been to before. Figured, hey, why not? Um, and they had a few decent games there that I decided to pick up. Control Q for PS2. Complete. Six bucks. Probably goes for like twice that. And Rampage Total Destruction for GameCube Complete. And that was like 8 bucks. That goes for the same 10, 12 bucks. Uh, the big one though, they had a great deal on this. And I, I had to think about it, but my girlfriend is the best here. And a uh, great addition to the collection here is this complete copy of Final Fantasy for the NES. Cartridge, manuals, maps, all in there. The guy who, who one of the owners who ran the store was like, oh, Final Fantasy CIB, uh, that's 109 And he was like, but since we had it priced for $73.99, so that's what, we'll, uh, that's what we'll sell it for. And I kind of walked away to think about it. My girlfriend walked up to the counter and got it for me. So awesome addition to the collection. Uh, flea market purchases uh, started off pretty well. There were a few vintage toys there, a couple of vintage toy dealers. Uh, I spotted this and had to pick it up. Diecast, Yellow Voltron Lion. It is missing its tail. It is missing one of these here. He had it on the table for 12 bucks. My girlfriend got a couple of Barbie dolls with it and he gave it all to us for 10 bucks. Got this little Wii U write and protect pack. A couple styluses, screen protector for the Wii U. I don't own a Wii U, but officially licensed by Nintendo. I'll take it for a dollar. Uh, a couple other things we got there. We got some games and some other stuff, some comic books. A dollar each. Gives one number one from Mirage Studios. I had that when I was younger. And Cerebus Companion. Always like service, always love the artwork. Saw this and grabbed it immediately. This G1 Transformers collector's case, you can see it was 12 bucks. Definitely worth it. Um, and it's actually in great shape, no cracks, breaks, or anything. Love that. So I spotted that right away. And then we also had some games there. A lady who's usually never there, happened to have a few games and toys. And got used for a dollar I think all but one that has the manual yeah that's missing the manual but a dollar flash away a dollar Nicktoons Unite has a dollar and NFL Street Greatest Hits for PS2 complete dollar each and everybody at the flea market sells DVDs um, and I typically try to stay away from them but this one was one I didn't have and one that I should have so 
Picked up Masters of the Universe, the Dolph Lundgren Classic. And it does look like it also has French and was from Quebec. So I grabbed that. That was a dollar. Found this re-release of Man at Arms. Missing looks like a leg guard. It's a re-release, you can tell. But then it kind of edges around the feet. Came out of a dollar bin. Um, then we will move on, lastly, to the best find of the weekend here. So this one lady, I've been to her sales before, but never remembered this. And let me just say, um, everything here, um, not including a Sidney Crosby McFarlane figure that I just don't want to grab, uh, was 25 cents. But the name of the game at this lady's sale was 25 cents. So... Going through, picked up a few things here and ended up finding new Super Mario Brothers Wii for the Wii. I think that the copy that I had is it's missing in action, so that's a good addition for me. Carnival games, nothing too special. Cover does seem a little water damaged, but not only does it have that, it also has a copy of Wii Sports. Looking around on my second trip through there, happened to catch this underneath a pile of books. Uh, nothing crazy here, but NES cleaning kit, I already have one of these. Box bottom is destroyed, but it, it has everything it should have in there. Poster, plastic bags, any, everything. And this one here, happened to see a couple stacks of VHS tapes and uh, some P PC games. And just said, hey, let me just kind of move these around, see what see what they have on there. And at the bottom of the second stack, I noticed something very familiar, and I'll show you what I saw. This is what I saw. And it is a factory sealed copy of Diddy Kong Racing, still with the KB price tag and the markdown price. It's got the legit seams. And the only thing I can say, and I don't know if, if this is a stickler, but right up here it looks like the cardboard broke the plastic right here, but it's not even anything else. But this was 25 cents. And I'll tell you, that is one of the best finds I ever had. I don't know if I'm going to hang on to it or what, but that was definitely the find. So that was my weekend for the 4th. Uh, we also had some fireworks there, but as you can see, found some great stuff. It was a really great time. Um, for those of you just coming here to see this for the first time, go ahead and like and subscribe if you can. would really appreciate that. Any questions or comments, please go ahead and feel free to leave them. And... Um, you know, I'll do my best to reply. Uh, just as a closing note here on this trip that we had, I did actually uh, find another abandoned uh, business, so I will have a video of that up probably in the coming week or so um, while we are there. So we'll get to that when we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Other than that, um, thanks for stopping by, and until next time, peace.